सतनाम श्री वाह गुरु साहिब जियो माया कारण ताव ही मूर्ख लोग अजान कहो नानक बिन हर भजन फिर था जन्म सिरान वाह गुरु जी का खालसा वाह गुरु जी की फतेह इन दिस लोक गुरु तेग बहादुर जी पाची सही दा माया कारण ताव ही मूर्ख लोग या जान सो दिस वर्ड माया कम्स अप वेरी ऑफ्टन एंड इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन दिस लोक माया कैन बी ट्रांसलेटेड टू डाउट समथिंग दैट कीप्स अस इन परम समथिंग दैट कीप्स अस इन डाउट दैट माया कारण एंड कारण मींस द कॉज सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस डाउट सो माया कारण ताव ही द वर्ड ताव ही कैन बी ट्रांसलेटेड टू समबडी दैट इज जस्ट रनिंग अराउंड दैट समबडी दैट इजंट स्टेबल सो माया कारण ताव ही मूर्ख लोग या जान एंड देन मार जी सेइंग those people that are just chasing after maya chasing after something that is temporary and what does it mean that something that keeps you in doubt meaning that something that we think that is going to bring us eternal peace that something that we think is going to help us to become completely balanced that sahaj that we spoke about in the previous looks so due to that doubt thinking that these things and that might be wealth that might be whatever it may be might be family or might be possession so different things can be what gives us that keeps us in that doubt maya karan tabhi so we run around and thinking that this is going to give me that eternal peace and maharaj is saying thinking that those people this is murakh log ya jaan maharaj is saying that they are a jaan a jaan means somebody that hasn't got any understanding that jere nahi jaande murakh means a fool murakh loge jaan those set of people maharaj is saying that are fools that haven't got the understanding that actually that that's not what is going to give us contentment kaho nanak bin har bhajan birtha janam saran but maharaj is saying this is but without the bhajan without actually meditating and devoting ourselves to god they said that birtha janam saran birtha means waste useless janam our life saran means pass so then that life ends up passing by and in complete waste and is just of no use so that's the literal meaning of the first lok so on one side in one slok maharaj is talking about being caught up in that rat race being caught up in that game but then in the second slok it's not that maharaj is talking about somebody that is completely away from that lifestyle in earning money and actually going out there and working and bringing in the amenities and earning for the amenities that we need to live it can come across but it's just talking about somebody that is just meditating all day and that's completely away from this it's actually not talking about that it's talking about somebody that has a complete balanced life we get all mixed up gurbani tells us as well there's those people that are saying the name of god with their tongue constantly but it doesn't mean that jit it doesn't mean that their mind is completely focused in god when guru arjan dev ji padshah ji when they were sitting and they were reciting all the bani to pai gurdas ji pai gurdas ji when they were writing all the gurbani out pai gurdas ji kende bhagat lochan ji came to meet bhagat naam dev ji once and they said that bhagat the lochan ji they said they actually had a doubt in their mind about bhagat naam dev ji they didn't actually understand what was going on when they actually met him they wasn't expecting him they wasn't expecting to see him in that way within their mind they've got this big bhagat sitting there with a mala in their hand immersed meditating with their eyes closed but when he came along he says nama maya mohaya has maya has all this enticed you has it taken over your mind he goes what is this that you're all stuck in you're just here working all day and you're printing stuff on this sh- on these sheets and this and he goes what about ram aren't you meant to be immersing ram into your consciousness i can't believe what's going on here bhagat naam dev ji he said that even though you see me that you think from the outside i'm entangled in all of this he goes actually but the truth is i've taken care of god's name upon my tongue he goes don't think that i forgotten god don't 
judge me from looking at the outside and think that what has he got caught up in? Because actually, he goes, God is upon my tongue and not just upon my tongue, but whenever I'm dealing with these clothes and sheets, when I have to talk to people, I don't forget God. I keep God in mind. So when I speak sweetly to someone, God is there still. It's when I speak bitterly, that's when Ram isn't there anymore. That's when God isn't there on my tongue anymore. And so Sangha Ji, hopefully we can take something very practical away from this. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.